welcome back to Glory Hunter with me, Alex, and today we've got a pretty good episode. We've got the Montpellier game and the Valencia game. So the first one is going to be the Montpellier game. The league table is starting to pull away a little bit. We haven't lost yet. Nine wins. I mean, saying that, touch wood. Nine wins so far, 24 goals for us, only conceding two, one against Monaco and one against Toulouse. And yeah, we're, we're doing very, very well. Three-point lead. Loyon lost to, I want to say, Nantes. 3-0. No, it was Nims. It was Nimes. Gloucester Nimes 3-0. Which was a bit of a surprise one to be honest. Hatrick Hamuche playing well, Hamuche. What is his actual name? I've actually forgot his genuine name. Um I'm gonna send him on a leadership course as well. Uh oh, we don't think it'll be suitable. Oh, well then. Fair enough. His actual name, if we go to I think it's information. Go to information, is Amine Hamuche, which is Pretty cool, pretty cool name. Obviously playing for France for us. Uh, France, I would, I would just say, I've, I've been playing with France a little bit. Um, I've, so, I've, I've not played well. Um, here's the Nations League. So what I'm sort of doing is I'm bringing in younger players to play them. And it's not really working. Serbia and Denmark's play very defensive football. Uh, so it's not a case of going into them games and just attacking. It's uh, it's going to be a case of playing a, a, a clever defensive side, I think. So we'll have to see what I can do in terms of that. Other than that, um, well, thinking about that, I might actually be in trouble, well, close to being sacked here. Um, yeah, C's. They're, not, they're just satisfied at the moment. When, when we don't get the semi-finals that they wanted, I think that might change. So yeah, in, in the league, we're doing very well. Uh, I'll show you since last time what has happened. Schedule. So you joined us for the Inter Milan game and the Lille game, I believe you did. Did you? Did you? Did you? Can't remember which one you joined me for. I think it was the Lille game. So since then, we've well, either way, we've played Lille. We won 2-0. Uh, Monaco, we beat them 2-1 in a nice little victory. 2-1 victory. Lorient, we beat 5-0. Pogba, who are Stefan Diabala and Hamuche, are five different goal scorers. Olympiacos, we beat quite comfortably with a 2-0 win away from home. Excuse me. Oh, turn my phone off. And then Nantes, 3-0 win. Chiesa coming back into form, which is very good for us. Uar doing his business and Hamuche doing the business as well. So today, Montpellier, Valencia, and then we'll have played the Inter Milan game, the Valencia game, and then we'll also be able to go forward to the end here, where we'll see between, I'll probably be Marseille first. We'll play the Marseille and Olympiacos game to finish off more or less where we are in the Champions League and see how we're doing, performing in the league. Un. So yeah, uh, it's going to be an interesting one. So let's see what we can do against Valencia. So, oh no, it's Montpellier, isn't it? <laughs> My bad, I was getting mixed up with which games I'm playing now. So, Serrera's going to come in purely because I want to give Keza a rest for the midweek game. Uh, Dembele can stay on. Uar's been playing sensational football. Jello can come in for Ivanov, even though he's got the, there's a lot of yellow cards going on around here. So I want to sort of... Um, Get as, as few as I can in the coming games. Kasana can come off the bench. Stefan's back in the side. Marquinhos has handed in a transfer request because he's not been playing. Because I've been switching around between Tobedo, Martinez and Diaz uh, as like a three. Other than that, everyone's pretty much happy. And I'm going to give Sensi a game in the middle there. Uh, playing it as a Metsala. In fact, I might just drop him back to a support role like that. Um... And yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna attack. It. We're gonna go positive against Montpellier. Alex Merritt got a new deal. Uh, he's happy at the moment because he's got a new deal. I think he's on like one hundred thirty thousand pound a week, which is nothing, nothing compared to the other. Well, Hamuche is on a four hundred twenty, I believe. Um, so yeah, I think he's gone up to two twenty a week now, which is nothing on off our back as they're playing an incredibly defensive system. Five, I think that's a five four one. That uh, we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. I'm gonna be calm. I have faith in them. Um, just gain a bit more motivation, really. Uh, what are they saying? Do you feel your ambitions of the club is matched? Yep, completely. How do you intend to seize the against opponent like PSG? Prefer to dominate possession. At the end of the day, I believe we're better than we are to play the match on our terms. Jallo has been rock solid in defensive late. How important is he today? Certainly. Hope we can come together. Don't care about him at all. There we go. Right, we're into the game. Let's get in. I think this is a Friday game, so it's only us playing. Got the table up here, as you can see. We potentially go six points clear of Leon, although obviously they haven't played their game. 
And as I was saying at the start of the season, it's looking like it's simply going to be us and Leon as like contenders. Um, yeah, unless Montpellier pull off like some sort of win here. I was playing fight with the backs a bit of a weird system that I don't know if I'll be able to break down. Uh, but I think I can afford to go attacking in this game. Um, as they have... Oh, look at how defensive that is. They have a goal kick with a highlight from it. Koulibaly on the ball. Plays it forward to Elefoni. Brown. Alright. This, this looks like it's going to be a penalty. Although, to be fair, it said it was a very light challenge. We could have been played a game here. Defensive, very defensive football is something that I do struggle against, I've got to admit, as the referee gives a penalty against Paul Brown. Oh no, come on Merritt, you've just got a contract. Let's see what can happen. Payrad steps up, Merritt with a save. What a save, good lad, that's why you got his contract. We've got a decent save in there, and that is, that is lucky. To, uh, well, very lucky, that is very, very lucky. As we get the ball away, Ruben Diaz with the ball away, and yeah, we've just got we've just got to hope we can get something from this game now. Great save off the line by Merritt, really good save. Thirty minutes in, maybe we can switch this thing round now. Um, I'm going to say show some passion, lads. Let's see something different. Let's see let's see what you can do. Try and break down this side because it is going to be it is worrying. Five at the back, don't like it one bit as they have another f goal kick. Tremoni heads it down. It's sort of like a. This is somewhat of a instant replay. Is it, in fact they're going down the right hand side this time. They ping it across, and Paul Brown picks it up. I believe run it forward. No, he gives it to Dembele. Who can he get past his man? He can, and he's keeping going with the ball. It looked well. It, to be fair, it's about nine on one here, and he gets a shot away. And it's, it was decent, but I just can't break them down. I think I'm gonna have to take more shots. If anything, I'll change stuff up at half time. We might have to introduce another player forward actually. Um, tactics wise we'll probably go back to what we played last year which is this one and the play you are in that well I'm, I'm pretty much sure the, the players are playing very well Serez having a shocker out there I'm going to bring on Chiesa just straight away um, as an inver inverted winger Neves and Sensi in the middle here advanced playmaker uh, attacking midfielder um, yeah, put a bit more support, get the wingers forward. We'll go down the left and right because I think I'm going to engage a bit higher as well. Although, well, we've got a very fast defence now, to be fair. Push a bit higher up as well. Um, distribute to the playmakers in the middle, please. Play down the left and right. Ping it around the sides there. Also, shoot on sight. I want to see more shots on target. We're going to just, no team talk, get straight back into the business. Demand more from them. And see what we can do now. It is it's a bit worrying because if we're having a lot of possession and a lot of shots, just no goals going in. As here we have it, you can see how defensive it is round here. Look, three, six players, seven, eight, eight players back. Sensi lines up a shot though, comes off the pup. Jeez, Sensi, surprise one there. I didn't expect Sensi to do anything with the ball. With the with the ball, to be fair, I won't lie. As I might have to make another few substitutes here. Who's not having the greatest of games? Dembele's not having a fantastic one on that right hand side. We'll bring on Diabala instead. And also, I'm going to bring on Stefan for Sensi. Just so we can push. We can push everyone forward then. So, Uwa can go into a more ad attacking advanced playmaker. And then Stefan can go into the Metzala role that he enjoys as attack. And we can sort of try and attack them more. Because that's definitely what we need to do here. Push forward, lads. Let's see a bit more. Push forward. Come on. 70th minute. We need to try and get something from this game now. Because a draw is as much. A draw is decent, but they're playing us for a draw, and I'll just get frustrated at the fact that they've managed to get, <laughs> that they've managed to get a draw out of us. Stefan with the ball out wide to Kiesa. Will he have a shot? Gets the ball in. Who are falls to Ruben Neves? Look how many players they've got back. You can't get anything past them. Play a nice bit of football, Stefan, and it comes off the post again. It's unlucky, really, because it was curling in. It was a decent effort. It's the 75th minute. We're having a few more chances now. It's not even like we're playing a bad game. They're not having a great game either. 80th minute, 82nd minute. Come on, boys. Demand more. Very attacking. They might as well. Why not? 
86th minute Jallo on the ball now to Uar to Chiesa. What can he do with it? Can he find a ball out to this sort of to Brown who's overlapping now? It's Dybala. Ruben Diaz picks it up. Right, build up from the back, lads. Tabido. There's, there's no threat up front apart from this lad who's just sort of running around in circles. Stefan cuts inside. He has a shot. It's a killing effort, but he shouldn't really shoot from there. No one shoot on sight, but come on, boys. 87th minute now. The cross in from the corner falls back to Dybala. Will he play it to the edge of the box? He doesn't. It finds Ruben Neves. Brown, Neves, Stefan. Neves from right. Oh, come on. You'd think that we might have a... A decent chance here. Get creative. Can I ping that in? No, I can't actually we have a highlight. Ruben Diaz comes forward to Brown. To Dybala. We're breaking him down slowly. Playing nice bit of football. Stefan. He has a shot but nothing comes of it. As they've actually picked up the ball here. And look to maybe go on the counter-attack. Which they can't. Ruben Neves picks it up. Uar with a great ball out wide to Dybala. Plays it down to Stefan. Back to Uar. To Stefan now. Has another shot. Doesn't really come off. They get the ball back. And here we have it. The ball's played forward. I was waiting for this. I was definitely waiting for this as it just goes over the bar. Thank goodness for that. Maybe a quick get creative in there. No, we can't squeeze anything in. Merit with the ball out to Uar. Look how far back they are. What is this? Stefan on the ball. Brown now. Can we find a last minute goal? Uar. To Ruben Neves. Has a shot from range and he's blocked again. Oh, this is, frust this is so frustrating. It's coming up to the final 30 seconds of the game. Jallo on the ball to Ruben Neves. It's an exciting last 30 seconds, though. Let's see what can happen. Uar on the ball. Will he shoot? He doesn't. He gives it by Dybala. Back to Stefan. To Brown. Get a ball in, boys. Pick it Pick it up. Ruben. Diaz. Play it forward. Oh, God. Shoot on sight. Pick it up. It's nil-nil. Unlucky, boys. It just wasn't our night. We should be playing better than that, though. It's... It's a bit it's a bit frustrating, really. Um Yeah, it's just a bit frustrating. We've been outdone there by just sticking nine players behind the ball because they don't need the win. They're just happy with a draw. That means Loyon, if they win their game, can go one point behind us now, which we're still at the top of the league. We're still we've not lost a game at least. But it's just frustrating, especially against Montpellier. Um, so that's 10 unbeaten games following the draw. Yeah, we'll have to see what we can do. We'll have to see what we can do going forward. Valencia now, I'll join you back for the lineup with the, with the lineup for that game and we'll see how we perform in the Champions League where hopefully, if we win against Valencia, we'll, we'll be favourites to advance. Right, you join me back at the Valencia game. The match preview, so we've had no previous meetings before. The current table is looking like this. We have four, well, we have four points. Yeah, we do. Valencia now have four points. After draw, Inter Milan have drawn twice, both to us and Valencia, which, in all honesty, isn't a bad thing. If if they beat Valencia next time, and obviously they need to beat Olympiacos now, they could potentially go through as well as either us or Valencia, depending on the outcome of this game, maybe. So, let's see what we can do. A nice little, tr nice little. Um, a few links in the middle here, actually, which are quite, is nice to see. Uar and Stefan, excuse me, sorry, are actually enjoying like the company of each other. Uar and Neves picking up a nice little connection. I'm quite happy with how the defence is all linking together as well. Uh, Ruben Neves is going to stay on the side. Soraya's coming out for sure. Kies are coming straight back in. Um, other than that, I don't think I'm going to change anything. Maybe Hakimi onto the bench. Um, yeah, Pogba's still... Un Bit unfit, three more days and he'll be fit again. Picking up a lot of injuries, which is a bit a bit scary. I'll just show you them very quickly. Yeah. Uh, 2026, you can see this hasn't really been his year. Uh, fractured cheekbone out for three weeks, got the flu for two days. Uh, knee tendon tendonitis, which he was out for four weeks for, that was for in training with us. And then also a hamstring injury, which he's out for three weeks, which is his current injury. So he's actually been out for seven weeks with us so far. Which isn't fantastic. But yeah, against Valencia today, let's see what we can do. That's the squad. It, I'm, I'm sticking this year to the same sort of team. I'm going to try and build the friendship, build the relationships up, see what I can do with the side. Um, and yeah, it's, it, hopefully, I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to perform quite well throughout, throughout the, uh, this, this year anyway. They've got, they've got Hung Min Son on that right hand side as well. I'm going to be assertive with them. Um, if we play this, our game will win. I'm going to be passionate. I have faith in them. Be passionate again. Faith. Passionate again. Faith. 
Um, I need to change responsibilities. Frank Lampard needs to take responsibility for these tunnel talks because I'm not having this. Both teams are in good form. Oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's see what goes on here. So, latest scores, I'll get them. Oh, there's no other latest scores at the moment. Are we the early kickoff? We must be the early kickoff. As we are at home, we're going positive. 10 minutes in, we're looking pretty strong. As Mafio comes forward, plays the ball into Son. We've got quite a bit of space here. As Stefan actually picks that up, and now the counter attack is on. We're looking a bit stronger here, not as defensive as Montpellier, as Chiesa comes so close until the finish. The goalkeeper tips onto the post, I think, and we're looking pretty good. Ruben Evers with the ball in towards Dembele, force of Tobedo. Just can't get any, anything on it. Hamuche on that left hand side now, just can't finish off there. As at home, I do fancy ourselves against uh, Valencia. Payatek, a previous player of ours, he he went there this this year. I can't remember how much money for, though. He's reaching the old age of 31. Schmidt, a 19-year-old player that, honestly, has probably been carrying this team. He is on the, on par, probably, I'd say, with, this, with Stefan, with how good he could be. At 19, those stats are incredible. Um... So yeah, he's he's probably the only player I'm looking out for. Maybe as well, Gaia. Kerr, a player we've had in this save as well. I think we had Mafio at one point as well, I swear. Uh, Son and Guedes looking pretty good as well. They are playing quite a defensive game again though. So I'm going to play it calm. Grab out, Go out there and grab a goal for us. Um, hand over to the assistant, see what he does. He does nothing. Lampard, Lampard's just there. I think Lampard's just here to have a bit of a laugh, if I'm honest. Um, we're going to stay positive. I think staying. Po I'm. I'm not going to risk going for it because I don't. I don't need to attack really. I'm. I'm pretty confident. The Inter Milan Valencia games. If they draw, then well, I reckon. I reckon we can get anything out of it. Ruben Neves with a decent curling shot. I'm going to demand a bit more from the lads. See what else we can do. We're, we're absolutely. Don't, we're all over them at this point. It's just what we can. So sort of, can we change anything here? Maybe. Maybe be less disciplined. Um. What else can we say? Uh, when we're in possession, maybe dribble less. Maybe maybe see if we pass first mentality might change anything. The wi this the wingers aren't performing well either again. Um, hmm. It might be time to implement a diamond shape as Ruben Nevers is going to come off for Sensi. He's just looking tired. So Rare can come on and try and fix up his form, and then Dybala, I'm going to be on Dybala to play out on, on, a, on a wing, see what he can do in these positions. Maybe, I mean, tell you what, yeah, I'm going to go attacking. I want I want three points here, because if we if we manage to get the point off Valencia, we do quite, we're setting ourselves up very nicely. Come on, show some passion, lads. Ball comes in from the corner, Zuma gets it clear, and Ruben Neves picks up, uh, Ruben Neves, Ruben Diaz picks it up, Tobedo, back out to Dybala, to Uar, Kenny has a curling shot, he normally scores them. Just goes wide of the post. Himuche has been not been in great form. He he's, he's scored, he scores a few goals, but it's, it's against lower sides this year. He's not really turning up against the big teams, which is a bit worrying for me. Demand a bit more from the lads. Jallo to Sarer. Can he do a bit of magic? No, he just sends a random ball in. Sensi on the ball now to Stefan. Find the overlapping run. Find it. Go on. Find it. No, we're coming back inside. Daibal, is he going to have a shot? He doesn't. He goes over the bar. We have to have shooting drills or something because all of our shots going over the top. Now though, Valencia have a highlight, and this could be a big turning point in what I thought we've a game we've dominated. Bernadeschi go it was very close. Mafio comes out to him. Can we get the ball away? We can. Finally, Hamuche. Now we go on the counter attack. Dybala comes forward. Can he find a ball inside? He can't, and they've got the ball back. The last three minutes of the game. That, that was incredibly close. That was really close, right? Anything we can do for the last few moments of the game? 93rd minute now, it looks like it's going to be a nil-niller. Another disappointing game in the Champions League, another nil-nil. I'm, I'm going to be a bit assertive with those lads. We're not, we're not good enough. We should be winning these games. We're, I don't know what's gone on. Last few games, it's been... It's been a bit poor. Look how many shots we had compared to them. Yeah, right. Well, after a disappointing two games... Inter Milan won f six two, flaming hell. So we're gonna, we're really gonna have to pick this up. We are we do play I believe Inter Milan last, so it might it might come down to the last day, last day of 
well, last game of the Champions League groups after going to the final last year. I mean, we struggled in the group last year as well. It is a very tough group considering because Valencia and Inter Milan are very good sides. Um, it might be a case of trying to just get as much, just get as big a goal difference as we can at this point. I'm not going to lie to you. So, but yeah, I'll have to see what we can do. Dortmund and Lyon are struggling in this Group H, which is weird to see. Celtic may be going through with Liverpool. Um, any, any other surprises? Real Madrid not performing so well. Feyenoord managing to get a draw against who? Shadow Shakhtar. That'll just change in instantly. Napoli outside of this the, the group here. And again, where's United? Where's Man United? Hold on. Where are Man United? Where did Manchester United finish last year? Are Man United not in this? Um... They finished fifth last year. They finished fifth. Wow. Okay, then. Right, that's interesting. So, well, it means one less big team to play against. But, yeah, let's see what we can do. Uh, wow. Um, I'll probably join you next time um, for the maybe probably the Olympiakos game again and Marseille game. Um, I'm going to play a big chunk just to get through the majority of the season. Uh, and then we'll have, well, we'll have the Champions League games and we'll have the back end of the season then, which will be interesting to see. And definitely the Coupe de France, which we have to win. Um, as well as that, I'll be playing a few international games in and about there, but I don't think it'll last long because we're, t well, yeah, we've not, we've not played well in the Nations League. I've got to admit, I, I've got to rethink sort of tactics with this young side, maybe go a bit more defensive. But until next time, yeah, stay safe. Hope you're doing well with this sort of uh, self-isolation periods and what whatnot that's going on. Uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying well. Uh, if you are enjoying this these videos, leave a like as ever. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Ciao.